Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. We just escaped via the shuttle, playing as Joanne Winslow. We've got two other characters that we've unlocked that we can play as. VJ Batia or Riley Yu. I think I'm going to go with VJ Batia first, just because I feel like that's the next one up in terms of like unlock order. I unlocked VJ long before I unlocked Riley. I don't know if that actually matters, doing it in any sort of an order, but let's go with it. A weapons expert and veteran of many military conflicts on Earth, Officer Bati has been forced to adapt his talents to the unique challenges posed by the Pythias moon base. Starts with a shotgun and propulsion system. Key abilities, firearm, toughness, combat focus. Combat focus was the slow-mo, right? Like bullet time? Pretty sure. Alright, so shotgun and some ammo. Excellent. Propulsion system, also very nice. Story objective is to escape by using the mass driver. I don't even know what the mass driver is. 150 health, 50 psi. So kind of similar to, actually, no, exactly the same stats as Joanne. Very hardy and a little bit of psi powers, but not much. Okay, got 51,000 sim bucks. Let's see what I want to buy. I've selected my loadout. I'm actually going to buy a whole bunch of stuff because... I know with my tendencies that if I don't buy a whole bunch of stuff and I go like, ah, I don't want to spend too much, I'll just spend a little bit. If I do that, I'm just going to end the game with like a million space bucks and I'll never have spent them. So let's actually spend. I'm going to spend about 20,000. I'm going to get the silenced pistol and 90 rounds for it. Not a very powerful weapon, but it's good to have something. Four neural mods, four medkits, a recycler charge, and a psychoscope. Most expensive thing out of all of this is, of course, the four neural mods. Each one of those is 4,000. So that's 16,000 on my 20,000 cost. Yeah, the rest of the stuff is honestly fairly cheap. Definitely worth it just to get some basics. Especially the med kits. And the, psych the psychoscope is good just generally for... Well, one of my goals is to scan a bunch of enemies. So just scanning in general, it's good for. It's good for detecting the presence of mimics. Uh, I believe it can also detect the presence of... What are they called? Uh, the things that are invisible? The, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but the invisible things that really, really suck. Be very good to know where they are. All right. Oh, what is this? Now we have chipset loadout screen. <laughs> we got the beefy boy, the power glove, the mech tech. Okay, so yeah, when you pick those things up during a playthrough, it doesn't matter if you, like, store them away or use them for yourself or whatever. They're just unlocked for all characters. Well, you do have to buy them. Increases your maximum health, regenerates stamina more quickly. Absolutely. Which is the time to repair an object. Disruptor and QB ammunition. Eh. I mean, this stuff's kind of cheap, but that doesn't seem that useful. Movement speed and aiming speed will fire in the glue cannon or QB is better. It doesn't seem particularly useful either. I'll go with the beefy boy. Alright. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Look at the top right of the screen. The corruption level doesn't reset between characters. Oh fuck. So the whole that means the whole simulation is going to reset then when I reach the end of this. There's no way I can play as two or if I manage to unlock the third the other character, three more characters, while I'm already almost kicked out. I'm like twenty five percent through corruption level five. Does that mean I should just, like, reset my run right now? Maybe I should. Well, I might as well spend my neural mods, right? Oh, VJ's got some really good abilities just for general toughness. They definitely seem to be the the combat character. Joanne Winslow has a lot of health, but they're more engineering, so more of their abilities are about repair. But this person, I think, is a security officer, and they got stuff to uh, basically do more damage with weapons, get more health. Like, this one is increase the effectiveness of medkits to 150%, which is huge. And that's just one neuromod. Uh, conditioning, increase your health by 25. More stamina, do things faster. I don't know if I'll need piloting, but I feel like that's the thing that I... It's something that I don't want to be missing in a critical moment, you know? I don't want to think I've escaped only to find out that I don't know how to pilot. <laughs> um... Huh, interesting. We have Psy. We have Psy points, but I don't actually have any, like, Psy using abilities that I could get. It would be right here. 
It's possible I unlock them by scamming enemies. Maybe? Um, let's get leverage one. What do I want to do? Reset now or just like run somewhere? Oh god. I would just like to pause for this moment. I was just looking around, just kind of thinking what I want to do. I am, well, I have a moon shark that's about to be here. And also, I've just discovered that on corruption level 5, the harvesters are corrupted. This time, they're really going to say no. But yeah, I think I'm just going to run around until I probably die a horrible, fiery death. I'll bring you back when something happens. From material detected. A moon shark killed you. At least I got 200 points. I collected a password. Is that just because I played as VJ and they knew <laughs> they knew their own password? <sighs> okay. Right, well, we're just gonna reset the simulation. Okay, so what does that do exactly? Your points carry through. What you spend neural mods on also carries through. You can see the abilities progress. These are still lit up. Yep. And your unlock characters carry through. Okay. Yeah, so all that's considered progress. And I uh, let's actually just check. Like, if we played as this character and we said, sure. Yeah, and also our, our chipsets. So, passwords that you collect, chipsets... Um, neural mods that you spend. If you just have them in your inventory, I guess they, well, they're gone. But if you spend them on the character, they stay. So those are all forms of permanent progress that will always stick around. Alright, corruption level is back down to nothing. Hold on. Is everything back, including... Let me just not look at it so it doesn't come out. Oh. Huh. Maybe the mimics are random. Because those were definitely mimics before. There were two mimics in this very room. Alright, let's not dawdle too much. I mean, like, I'm probably not going to win the DLC in this run either. So I'm not going to stress, like, a huge amount about just running incredibly fast. I don't want this to be a speed run, right? I mean, there's so much story stuff to take in that I want to read. I, I don't want to stress about that. But at the same time, I shouldn't dawdle too much. Anyway, I'm playing as VJ again with basically the same loadout that I had before. So now I know that if I'm at high corruption level, I should just reset the simulation instead of wasting my space bucks. Most of the points that I spent, though, weren't wasted. Most of them went to the neural mods that are permanent. Um, I bought two more this time. Which actually... Oh, we can get combat focus. Yeah, let's get that. Ten seconds. Time slows down for ten seconds, and actions cost 50% stamina. And how do I activate that again? Ah, oh, it's a side power. Okay. Oh, so yeah, it hmm, it does use Psy, even though it's not like in the the Typhon quest line, like uh, ability line. Okay. <sighs> Wait, key card. The key cards carry between characters in the same run. Do they not carry across runs? They don't. Interesting. Yeah, I was thinking right-click, by the way, for the combat focus would be used like the other abilities, where you can press F to cancel it or release right-click to actually use it, but no, you just press it and it just gets used right away. And that just brought back a memory flooding into my head of when I played the original Prey and I used to accidentally use combat focus all the time. Well, it's still gonna happen. Oh, right. There might actually be stuff here now. Just gotta remember where stuff actually is. Oh, I have leverage one now. Right. Was that the picking up sound? Nice. So strong. Alright, I'm gonna loot this place. Gotcha! Research complete. Burrow 2 available. Ooh. So yeah, even with the reset simulation and corruption being at level 1, the moon shark is still here. It just wants to stay. Bro. Uh, I don't... 
I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it's just not available with this character. That would definitely be in the Typhon list of stuff. New psionic aptitude available. Let's actually view the notes on the moon shark. Peter's notes. You know that old movie from the 90s with the giant worms? <laughs> Tremors, yes. It's like that, except I don't think even an elephant gun could bring this monster down. It's got a short attention span, which I might be able to use to my advantage as long as I stay off the lunar surface and throw some junk every now and then to keep it entertained. It might also be vulnerable while it's tunneling, but I'd have to find a way to hit it underground. Weakness? Psychic. Immune to EMP and stun. Scannable powers burrow 1 and 2. So it is definitely blind, but apparently it can hear a little bit, so as long as you stay completely still before it comes up, you'll be fine. Uh-oh, I think it's coming. Yeah, so we just stay completely still. We're fine. Yeah, no big deal. Shit. Creepy fucker. The way they move. Alright, what is around this thing? Show me. Oh, you! Oh, it's on me. Typhon material detected. No! <clears throat> Get the hell away. Let me in the gate, please. No Typhon detected. Okay. Oh. So, my goal with this character, what I'm actually doing. So, you can escape. You don't have to do the story objective. You don't have to escape that way. Get in an escape pod or get in a shuttle. Either way, that would be a successful escape. Then I guess I would get super nice bonus points for that and all that stuff. So, there's definitely value in doing that. Especially if I can't do the story objective. At the moment, it seems to be locked for whatever reason. So, since I don't know what to do for this locked story objective quest, and I don't want to just get into an escape pod without really accomplishing anything new. So instead, I think I'm just going to explore around areas that I haven't really explored. Areas that I just ran through before. And just see what we find. So I'm going into, what is this, Pythias Labs, I believe? Yeah. Heading into Pythias Labs, just going to collect Requesting stuff. Before we actually head into the Pythias Labs proper, though, I noticed something out here. I, don't, I must not have explored this area out here very well. If at all. Actually, I don't think I've been here at all. I think I accessed the Pythes Labs from the tram, didn't I? Yeah, so there's this storage room here, one of those nice gold chests, person inside, other stuff. Material detected. Um, it has a locked door. However, if you notice, it looks like the top doesn't have anything covering it. So if I can get up there on that pipe, I should be able to get in, and I think I can do that here. I love prey. Ballistic turret. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Also this, too. Could use a recycler charge on that. Glue cannon fabrication plan. Fear reactor. I recognize the name from the original fear. I mean, original prey? What? But I don't remember what it does. Upon killing a typhon, there's a chance to trigger a fear blast on other nearby typhon. Also grants you resistance to fear effects. Nice. They like their jelly eels. Jellied eels in here. I can't take this with me between load zones, right? Since it's not in my inventory. So that won't be much use there. Um, there is a command center, though, that I don't know if I've been to. Noticed over this way.
Did it get hurt? It's sparking now. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so rough with it. Locker room. Lock submitted. Is that an upgraded wrench? Better stamina and better knockdown strength. Oh, I definitely haven't been here. That locker room looks like it's got bodies in it. Like a medical room, sort of. Oh, they fell through. Starbender Cycle 2, Book 3, The Door Through the Tunnel's Keyhole, in the toilet, just as it deserves. That is a massive book, by the way. You can read this if you'd like. Oh, we get points for finding those. Nice. Oh! I remember finding a, a tunnel that looked like this. Was this the place? Or maybe it was the place from the other side. I think it might have been from the other side. And of course, I have no repair skill. Ah, oh, there's a Q-beam inside. Damn it. It's okay, it's not for me, it's for Joanne Winslow. Adjustment required. Let's enter the Pythias Labs proper. Yep, Turret can't come with me. Almost looks like one of the moon sharks? No, I don't think it is, but whatever it is, it's huge. And apparently being kept and trapped. Connector Blast 3 available. Weakness, glue. New psionic aptitude available. Yeah, this is all new. It's always darkly humorous every time they say volunteer. They're not volunteers. Okay, the weaver's loose, but the others are contained. For now, it's about to be corruption level 2, by the way. This room might get a bit nastier. Actually, it's probably a good idea to explore it right now. What do I want to do to kill the weaver? A shotgun, I guess? Got a glue charge. Stunning it wouldn't work. I guess combat focus. Combat focus and shotgun, I think. Right, I should... Oh, I've got two of those, actually. I'll just use those. I mean... Given that the corruption level persists across all characters for a single run, is there any reason not to just use them all right away? I, I can't think of any. There's another one. I don't think there's anything I could spend the Neuro Mod on. No, I've just got one. Let's get a look at this big boy. 
Oh, it's a, it's the nightmare. Regeneration two. New psionic aptitude available. Phantom Shift 2. New psionic aptitude oh god, available. where'd you come from? get up there. There's some railings. It doesn't seem like much you can actually do in here. Looks like those are the control rooms up there. Maybe you can do more there. Hmm? Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Before it attacks me, I got a spore. Right, that's one of those quote-unquote grenade things. Basically the same class as a grenade. Cluster of Typhon Tentacles. I think, by the way, I think I actually have a quest to y y kill the moon shark with that. Yeah, Cosmo Bounties. Kill one moon shark with your Typhon Spore. How effective are some tentacles going to be against that huge thing? I feel like I'm probably going to have to soften up the the moon chart before that would have any effect. I didn't think it'd be too hard. If it's ethereal or something like that, or fiery, nah. Attention everyone, we have a special message today from our CEO. Didn't realize there's a second one. This is Alex Yu, CEO of Planstar. Co-director of research aboard Talus One. As I sit here, comfortably aboard the greatest technological marvel humanity has ever achieved, I recognize that this station would not exist without the sustaining efforts of our sibling facility on the surface of the moon. Our helium-3 refinery alone is the lifeblood of this company. Not to mention the exciting R&D taking place down there. So I want to offer my thanks and support to our employees hard at work at the Pythias moon base. When you look up, take pride, and remember, we're looking down on you with appreciation. <laughs> looking down on you. That's a good way to put it, Alex. Alright, let's explore this place from the beginning, coming in from here. Ooh. 
Mm. Cystoid nest. Is there something I can throw? How? Oh, why can't I throw bolts like in Stalker? And a single moon rock, huh? Alright. Take some shampoo. Alright, let's pop them. Typhon material detected. Scanning. Mm. Typhon material detected. That didn't work great. That worked really well. Oh, Jesus! Fuck! Okay, I'm so strong, I throw everything with such incredible force. Don't throw explosives if they're gonna hit something in front of you. Holy crap, that hurt a lot. I guess... I guess I'll heal. I almost don't want to heal just uh, in case I find a medical bot, but... I've got seven med kits. Let's not be greedy. Shit, there's another nest. Whoa, what is that? Is there one of those invisible things in there? Like my view just got all blurry. Yeah, there. What is that? Thinking there's something inside of that containment room. Type of material detected. No typhoon detected. As of 312, do not access cell without R's approval. That'd be rightly you, probably. Profile aggressive, profile defensive. Reset today. Okay. Reminds me of Stalker once again, now that I was thinking about throwing bolts. This reminds me going into the, uh, the X whatever lab, going deep down in there and getting all sorts of, like, psychic effects from the enemies. Right. How do I how do I open this thing? There's stuff inside, so I can definitely get inside. I feel like this should be a control panel to do something with, but there's nothing. Oh, oh no, that's for the gate. Is there really not a way to open this? It must be open from somewhere else. Volunteer room 5. I'm gonna use a delay time. Oh, I've got two. Let's, let's use both. Psi-hypo protocol. Reminder, psi-hypos are to be secured, cataloged, and tracked. Under no circumstances should volunteers be allowed access to unsecure hypos or be injected without the express supervision of the head of Typhon Sciences, Kenneth McAllister. There's something in one of these rooms. Phantom. No, that's not the name of the things. I can't remember the name of the things that are invisible. I gotta get to the control room. I want in all these rooms. 
Look, there's a sticky note there. What does it say? I have to know. Okay, where the hell did I come from? Uh... Right, came from here. Yeah, already checked out there. Just checked out there, so let's go up here. I think this is the control room. And also in the game. No, um, my psi is limited. And that little picture there of, like, on my head, it's all red. I think that's a concussion. There is something to cure that. I don't know if I have it. That's burn trauma. I don't think I do. Yeah, it doesn't look like I do. Oh, that's what the effect is. It's the concussion. Oh. Well, that makes it less creepy. Volunteer schedule. 0600, wake up calisthenics, breakfast, test prep, lunch. Oh god, lunch, intravenous feeding only. Ugh. Dinner, blah blah blah, free time, sedation, neuromod removal, sleep. Oh, this is the good stuff. Yes, I can unlock them all. Uh, let's do other stuff first though, emails. Security failure from Kenneth Mc, uh, McAllister. We need to review our neuromod removal process. Um, this so-and-so patient was returned to his containment cell with enhanced abilities still installed. Unless you want volunteers starting fires or killing security officers, I recommend everyone start taking our protocols more seriously. This is a security reminder. Typhon gates are essential to the safety of every crew member. Head of Typhon Sciences. Marge, it's gotten worse. Andrus's confinement now includes a Typhon gate, which is working, but I think we need to reevaluate what we're doing. Morale is low. Andrus is such a sweet guy. He's been a friend to all of us. Seeing him like this, unpredictable and aggressive, is heartbreaking. He's almost escaped several times. Can we please set up a time to talk about what's happening? Haley Sanders. Andreas, isn't that the first character we played as? So they were a quote unquote volunteer? Apparently everyone liked them. Interesting. Okay, let's open up all of them, I guess. I'm scared something's gonna come out, but I mean, I didn't see anything in any of the uh, places. Access to volunteer room number three can only be granted from Dr. Riley Hughes' workstation. Ah. Oh. Okay. Nothing horrible's come out. That's good. What about volunteers? No life signs, right? Nope. What about Andreas? Andreas Alekna? Nothing. Okay, so we have the volunteers. All their places, I want to check that out. Uh, where does this go, though? Deployment, Typhon Observation, Exit. Okay. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out the volunteer rooms.